Hi, my name is Roger Yusivas. I'm going to explain to you basic computer networking. This course will be divided in five to six videos. It will contain videos which is very practical to make you understand basic computer networking. Let us start to describe what is a standalone computer. And the difference between a network. A standalone computer basically is a computer that is not connected to a network. It might be on the screen and the CPU might be on, but this computer has no data cable, or we call it Ethernet cable, or LAN cable. LAN is local area network. There's no data cable, Ethernet cable, or LAN cable connected. For this computer to be compliant to a network, for it to connect to a network, we need to have a special card in the system unit. That special card is refers to as the NIC card. NIC is Network Interface Card. The NIC card is a card that will give that computer access to a network. With the NIC card, what we will need, we will need a LAN cable. A LAN cable, basically, this is a LAN cable. That LAN cable goes in the NIC card. And from that NIC card, it will go in a network switch. Network switch, or sometimes, it can connect directly to a device we call a router. Now, basically, I am going to explain to you how you can build the most simplest network. For example, at your place, you have two computers, can be two laptops, or two computers. You want to build a very simple network without a switch, or you don't have a switch, you want those two computers to communicate. For example, this is computer A, and this is computer B. And on computer B, you have certain files, for example, file 1. You want to access the file 1 from computer A through computer B. What you will need is your laptop normally comes with an NIC card integrated in the motherboard, and your other device at the back will have its NIC card. You take a crossover cable. You link those two computers together. A crossover cable is, a, is one type of LAN cable that link two like devices. I mean, a computer linking to a computer, you need a crossover cable. Basically, when you have linked those two computers with a crossover cable, you have formed the simplest network without a switch. What you will need to assign later on is on both computer is what we call an IP address and a subnet mask. I will come to that later. Subnet mask. So you have well understood for a computer to connect to a network it should have an NIC card, a network interface card. And as well, that network interface card, you should connect that network interface card with a LAN cable. Now, if you see that screen, that is a standalone computer. That standalone computer, for it to become compliant with the network, it will need an NIC card, the network interface card, and with an a network interface card, a LAN cable. Okay. Basically, now you might tell me that some devices don't have an NIC card like a smartphone, like a laptop, but still they can connect to a network. Yes, these, those devices basically have what we call a wireless LAN card. That wireless LAN card is a card normally on the motherboard, which is connected on the motherboard, which gives that computer or laptop or smartphone capability to connect to a network wireless. So basically, 
it goes the same function as the NIC card, but instead of having a physical cable, it won't require any physical connection, it will have a wireless connection. So basically, this is a LAN card as well. Okay, now, for us to understand how we can network, how we can connect different types of devices, we need what we call a network switch. A network switch is a device with multiple ports, you have multiple ports, and those ports, each of those ports, you can connect a LAN cable to one device. For example, the first port can go to a laptop, the second port can go to your PC, you take the third port, you can connect it to a printer, a network printer, the fourth port, you can connect it to an IP camera. So basically, if you want to connect different types of devices on a network, you need what we call a network switch. Now you have network switch with wireless capabilities as well. This is a network switch where it will require, where it will require wired connection. But for example, if that network switch came with an antenna, you could have the possibility to connect a smartphone to that network. Now, on my next video, I will explain to you how to build a very simple network using a network switch, how your home network is set up as well. So catch me on my next video. Thank you.